Hello all you wonderful VR divers and thank you for once again joining me on Weaver's Wonderful World. This is my first episode of Vertigo Remastered. So we are going to go through this game as a normal playthrough and hopefully everything, every video that I do will be titled based on the level that I'm on. So let's get into this. Salubo Productions presents a game by Zach Cyclus Brown. I can't pronounce that, sorry. <clears throat> Ooh, pretty kitty. With her half mustache. Ooh. Vertigo. Remastered. All right, use joystick to move around. Phone. And there's a cat on the back. That's so cute. Alright. Hey, Sonia. I know you don't have any reception in the valley, so I assume you'll get this message once we get some altitude closer to my cabin. Uh, you know, I don't believe in any of this supernatural stuff, but there's been uh, even more weird shit happening in town since you left. Not quite sure what you expect to find up there. But there's clearly Got no something legs. going on. Just try to be careful. Oh, I stocked a bunch of firewood last time I was up there. Light a fire so you don't freeze to death. Call me if you find anything, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye. See ya. Alright. <clears throat> so let's start by, I guess, going into the cabin. There's the key. That's... Safety not good, but we'll go ahead and put you in there. Turn. Oh, this is actually a pretty nice cabin. Can I open you? No. Can I get the key and open you? Let's see. Well, I cannot pull the key out, which means that door is locked and I cannot get into it. The Many Worlds Interpretation. A superposition dive into the facts, fiction, and unknowns of custom parody multiverse theory. Interesting. Which... <clears throat> hey, look. Fire. Woo! That lit up fast. Alright. Invisible walls. Oh. Hey, it gets a night pretty quickly. That's creepy. What in the world is that? Uh, should I be running? That, um, can I go outside? I cannot go outside. What in the world? Ugh. The void. What in the world? Oh. This is giving me balance issues. What are you? What was that? Hey, give that, give that bag. Was that my heart? What in the world? Uh, okay, look. 
What are... I'm getting the chills. Like, seriously. Just chill factor 9000. I guess it doesn't help that my house is actually cold right now. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. What are you? Oh, I can't put it on my head. Pick up the soldering iron. Maybe I need to do this. I guess not. Can I put you here? Nope. Can I put you here? Nope. What is this place? Look, I think I'm right that the glass ball needs to go in there, but I think I need some kind of battery. I pick you up? No. <sighs> Danger. High energy test chamber. I don't like the sound of that. That's interesting. All right. Here's nothing. Ah, oh my god! Ah! Ooh. Damn. Okay. Recording. Recording. You poor Stay bastard. Okay. So B. Let's go. Up here. All right. <sighs> okay, so what's next? First day in the new lab. Just got moved again, probably to throw off the feds trying to locate me. Inconvenient, of course, but not as inconvenient as prison. Quantum juice. What is it? Still trying to uphold the deal. For now, at least. Sector 12 now. Not my finest residence, but I am right next door to an old associate of mine. Prawl. So, that's nice. I'm trying to prioritize projects, but it's clear I'm going to spend way more time developing the space-time manipulator if I want it functional by fall. Hmm, interesting. Don't know. What is it used for? Classified. Why does it seem to leak out of all the walls in the reactor? Well, it's probably cheap pumping work. The important thing is that it seems to be a vital power source for some of the more... exotic functions of my space-time manipulator. With enough juice, I can warp local space-time in any way imaginable. Interesting. So where do I go next? Not done exploring just yet. Can't go anywhere. Can't go there. Can I loosen you? Oh. I cannot, apparently. Okay, so what about you? I need a key card to get there. Just got moved again. I can't really see anything in there. So let's go this way. Hey, is someone in there? Yeah? Isn't that you, Brian? No, he's oh, dead. Uh, you're not, Brian. They gave me the wrong room. Uh, no. I'm sorry, we had a no-show at evacuation, and it's my job to locate employees. 
They said this guy was last locked being in this lab, but I couldn't get in, so I've been waiting here for... Oh, it's been 450 days now. Yeah, he's I dead. It's a bit late for him to evac at this point. Yeah, he's Speaking dead. Speaking of uh, evacuation, why are you here? Lower floors are a nightmare these days. Way too dangerous for human workers. Here, let me check your credentials. N no disrespect intended, just protocol after all. I, I don't have any. Oh, cripes. You're not an employee. You're an alien from an exoproximal, aren't you? An oh, exoproximal? What is that? Please don't kill me. Do they I'm not gonna kill you. Of mercy in your universe? Just stay calm, okay? Uh, all right. That's uh, that's interesting. I'm human. Brian was human, but I think what? What am I supposed to do with you? I can't punch you. Why can't I punch you? Let's get over there real fast then. Ooh, there we go. Alright, that'll keep me safe for the moment. Nope, maybe it won't. That thing didn't even see me. Okay, what's in here? So I can go through here now. Oh, that's locked. Come here. Stop shooting me. Can I go in here? No, I cannot. Apparently I cannot drop what's in my hand either. Let's see what's this way. Oh, hey. All right. So we'll continue on this way. Nope. Apparently I cannot, so I gotta go back. Okay. this music. <clears throat> Can I go back into that room? Can I go into this one? No. I cannot go back into this room. So apparently I am stuck here until I can figure out where I need to go. Oh, come on. go down. So I have to go somewhere around here. Oh, I see what I need to do. Alright, that was easy. And then the door's over here. Alright. What's next? Really? 
Come on. <sighs> what are you? Come here. Aiming this thing is not easy. All right. Woo. There we go. So funky little creatures. All right. Good afternoon, Ew, there's goo all over the place. The once said that you must suffer in pursuit of science. Please stop submitting minor complaints to administration. We know what working conditions are like, and we aren't going to change them. Wow, that's terrible. We know what working conditions are like, and we're not going to change them. Because we don't give a foo. Yeah. These things are ugly. You don't jump very well, do you? I guess you're dead? Okay, well, we'll continue on. What? Alright, so it looks like we're gonna have to do a little bit of climbing. The physics for climbing aren't too bad. Can I one hand this? Nope, I cannot. I cannot, and apparently I killed myself. <laughs> Arrgh, stab. Okay. Oh, hold on. All right, I should be fine now. <sighs> I can skip hammer. Can I? I can grab that backwards. Interesting. So the physics in this game aren't too bad, but they could always be better. Okay. Nope, there's nothing up. It's a weird ventilation shaft. Ooh. Okay. Alright, so go back to the teleporter. And we'll drop down. Whew. Ooh. Interesting. At least this area is safe. There's water. Okay. Teleport. Teleport. We'll get down. Just low enough. Can I teleport through here? No, I cannot. Okay. Something just killed me. Okay. At least I'm not catching on fire easily. This time we're gonna go this way. Ooh, just a little bit. Okay. Oh, this is where I was before. Nope, that wasn't it. Alright, so the long way around is actually the easier way, but at the same time, I still have to be careful. Alright. How do I... Oh, there's a ledge. Okay. Can 
messed up all. Oh, no. Alright, since I seem to be having a little bit of trouble and this recording is seeming to go on just a little bit longer, I'm going to go ahead and call that there, and then in the next episode, we'll continue forward. Hopefully in the next episode, it won't take me too long to figure out where to go next. But anyways, once again, thank you for joining me on Weaver's Wonderful World, and remember, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Bacon is the best breakfast food, so eat up, stay healthy, and I'll catch you VR divers in the next episode. Hoorah!